Glenn, the White House press secretary spoke out this afternoon condemning the riots, calling the violence that unfolded appalling. And there are new reports today that federal prosecutors are looking into the role President Trump may have played in inciting this chaos. Prosecutors also announced federal charges in 15 criminal cases related to the Capitol Hill riots. What began with music and grand speeches at the Save America March before Wednesday's congressional proceedings to declare Joe Biden the presidential winner. Let's have trial by combat. Soon turned into mayhem. Oh, See how fast the cops turn around once the saw the numbers game. After President Trump and his closest advisors urged a crowd to walk down Pennsylvania Avenue and rally to the Capitol to, quote, take back our country. A tense standoff that soon erupted into combat between Capitol Police and a pro Trump mob that outnumbered officials. They're getting into the Capitol tonight. Those threats to storm the Capitol building quickly played out in violent clashes. As officers tried to keep rioters from moving further onto the grounds. It's over! You better run, cops! You better run! What instead happened was a scene unlike any other, one of the most jarring in the country's history. As Trump supporters breached security, broke police lines, and led a rampage through the Capitol Rotunda, vandalizing the historic building, ransacking offices of lawmakers, and even more alarming, challenging armed law enforcement officers who tried to restore order. The situation escalated to a point where one rioter was shot to death while trying to lunge through this barricaded door, where armed police were on the other side protecting congressional leaders who were hiding. Other rioters were able to enter both Senate and House chambers as lawmakers rushed to safety. This occupation inside the U.S. Capitol went on for several hours before law enforcement officials, with more resources called in, were finally able to secure the area and move away the crowds. President elect Biden said the nation is still shaken by this deplorable display, adding, What we witnessed yesterday was not. It was not dissent, it was not disorder, it was not protest, it was chaos. Congress reconvened late Wednesday and finished the electoral vote count, eventually certifying Biden as the winner. And today, the cleanup inside the Capitol took hours to complete, debris littering the area, broken glass, defaced areas, most of which can be restored. But what's more lasting is the heartache. That's been inflicted on the nation inside the people's house that turned into a political war zone on what should have been a historic day. President Trump has been blocked from his Twitter and Facebook accounts, but in a statement released through the White House, he indicated there will be an orderly transition on January 20th. That's the very latest in the newsroom. I'm Karine Winter. We'll send it back to you now in the studio.